Welcome to this important, important piece of the puzzle, why we will reach AGI in 2026. So when I say AGI, what I mean is artificial general intelligence. What does it mean? You know, what does AGI even mean and why is it so all decisive for us? AGI, artificial general intelligence, in a nutshell can be described an artificial intelligence that is on a human level, basically in an AI, AI that is as smart as the median human across all areas of human life. That can be emotional and therapy all the way to software engineering, all the way to physics and math and so on and so forth. Now, what does it actually mean in practice? There's a lot of theoretic discussions what AGI actually is. I think they're academic and unimportant. What is important is AGI just means in real terms, if you're an investor, if you want to know, if you're a business person, if you want to know, or politician, you want to know what does it mean? Why do I care? You care because AGI means AI gets to a point where you can start really replacing humans. A machine outperforms your accountant. A machine outperforms or at least performs at the same level as your marketer, as your software engineer. Not just a little bit, not just taking over a specific task, but replacing the whole piece of work after some training and adoption. That is a very important thing because it leads to an exponential adoption of AI. Because as long as an AI is only 50% as smart as your accountant, you don't really want to use it. You say, like, well, there are too many mistakes. And then I need to hire an accountant to double check all the AI stuff. But at the minute where the AI makes less mistakes than the average accountant, the whole thing changes. And you say, well, now I might replace the human. Why? One accountant and let them oversee AI agents that do the work of a hundred accounts. So there will be a very, very strong inflection point in AI adoption once we reach AGI. And that is my definition of AGI as an economist. I don't care about academic definitions, what it can do. I care about the economic definition of AGI. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. It's the point in time where AI becomes so capable that you can replace most employees in any specific field, but it's very likely that we get there across all fields at once. And my big prediction is not just mine, by the way, but my big prediction is that we will reach this point end of 2025 or in Q1 2026. And if you understand anything about labor markets and economics, you might understand what that means. It will massively boost productivity, bottom lines, and it will be massively destructive, massively destructive to the labor market. No one is telling you that because the people who understand it tend to be biased and they want to make money. And the last thing they want is mass panic. They want to first cash out. That's why no one is talking about this. That's why we see a lot of gaslighting from the Silicon Valley elite. They're not dummies. They understand this very well, but they're gaslighting everyone. They're saying, oh, don't worry. Every technology has created more jobs than it destroys. Like, yeah, sure, dude, sure. This is just another technology. Sure. When you think about the massive acceleration, there was never a technology that was invented. And the year after it was invented, it was 10 times more powerful. And the year after that, it was 10 times more powerful again. Electricity was invented and it is still to this day, just electricity. You know, the car was invented or the steam engine to this day, engines are just steam engines. But here you invent not something that replaces a specific piece of labor, but it replaces your brain. And it does so 10 times better in 2026 than 2025 and 10 times better in 2027 than 2026. So good luck with this theory that it's not going to wipe out all human jobs. It will, and it will do so now or in 12 months or something. So why do I believe this? When we look at Grok, for example, you guys are probably Grok users. If you look at Grok, you see what it can do. Grok 2 to Grok 3. Grok 3.5, by the way, coming out probably next week. It's a little delayed, but it's probably coming out next week. Super exciting. Look at four of open AI. They're already vastly outperforming me in many tasks. You know, when you have this debate, oh, Joe, you're wrong. It's not AGI. It's like a, uh, it's a fantasy. It's not going to happen. Well, just be pragmatic and think about my economic prediction, what it is, right? Just look at what these systems actually do today and how you use it. You use it in a way where, you know, you, you, ever I already let it draft contracts. I already let it create images. I have medical questions. I can ask it and it knows a lot of stuff. It can tell me way more precise answers than any doctor can way faster. You know, I use it in marketing 
when I want to have some ideas for thumbnails or something, when I look for brand names, I mean, this thing is just beating every, everything you can imagine. And very soon we have a much better agentic framework around it. They can actually take actions and do the jobs for you. So all this, is, this is all happening now. And this theory that AGI is not here yet or is not coming, just think about how much value these things start to generate and how much value they used to generate 12 months ago. And if you continue that trajectory, well, guess what's happening very soon. And as I explained, what does it mean short term? You will see extreme economic empowerment for companies, but more specifically for what I call pioneers, people with a plan and people who have a plan for the future that is valuable for humans. They will now see a complete force multiplication of what they can do. They see a complete force multiplication, how fast I can build a brand, a website, theories, you know, content, how fast they can build new campaigns, new media, how fast they can build code, how fast they can do scientific research, how fast they can aggregate scientific research. So for people with a plan, for people who are reality engineers, which means for people who have a vision, who know what they want in the future, and this vision is sound because it generates value. They get now superpowers because they can save millions of dollars and they do things. In other words, for people who are pioneers, AKA mini Elons, if you're a mini Elon Musk, if you have a vision of something and you want to achieve that and you want to engineer the world in that direction, all the little things you need, all the components, what is your brand? What is your messaging? What's your narrative? What's your code base? What do you need? All of that can now be created much, much faster before. And so these are the people who will benefit the most from AI, the people with a vision, the people with a plan, how to create a future reality that is valuable. Now, the bad news is everyone else who's not that will have a giant problem because everyone else is not going to be able to make any amount of money. There will be no jobs and this will happen. This will be ignited next year and then exponentially expand and will conclude probably very quickly thereafter, probably in 2029. 2030. I had a video before. There won't be any jobs in 2030. Maybe some people are left doing some jobs, but you cannot get a new job. You will need to be a reality engineer or someone who deploys capital into these people. And right, that's why I always say you need to become very good and make investment, smart investing your full time job while you're training yourself to become a pioneer. But if you fail to become a pioneer, you can still make a killing just investing smartly. The one thing you can't do is having a job. I think that is very bad. By the way, that is especially important for young people, 18 to whatever, like people in college or people before college who now have to make these decisions or their parents. If you are a dad, if you're a mom, you think about what my kid has to decide what they do. Well, bad news is I don't think any college is well prepared for this, but the good news is new things are springing up like the Pioneer Academy and other things. You need to be prepare yourself if you're 16, 17, 18, or in college, to prepare yourself for that art uh, type of value creation, you need to be able to engineer reality, to envision the future and do everything you can. You have to become a mini Elon Musk. There's no way around it. You can also become a macro Elon Musk, but you know what I mean. You need to engineer reality. Otherwise, you can't do anything. Hey, if you want to stay ahead of the great transformation that is happening through AGI, join us in Pioneerlands. Here we share the latest AI insights from around the world, find capital opportunities and track political change. It's free, link in the description. Let's get back to the video. The only smaller thing you can do is become a very good investor by spotting and predicting the future, spotting, and predicting the best stock movements. That is the fastest path to actually jump on this train. But ideally you go into actually building these realities. So that is rebuilding education, Pioneer Academy, we need to totally build a new education system now. And that's what we are working on in Pioneerlands on a new education system that actually realigns all education and says, well, all that stuff, like I learned physics, I learned chemistry, I learned maybe even dumber stuff like gender studies or something. All of this will cease to exist. All the bullshit will be even more bullshitty. And the things that used to be useful, like STEM, will also be useless. What, what good is coding if the AI does coding for you? So we need to actually realign our education to what matters in the age of AGI. Investments, understanding how the world is being built, 
who actually will be the big winners. So investing in a way is just the first step into reality engineering. You can only invest in the age of AGI successfully. I Warren Buffett critique. You cannot do value investing. You need to be pioneer capital. You have to understand companies like Tesla, companies like Nvidia. You have to understand new technologies like Bitcoin, and you have to see how they will reshape the future in the next five years. That is where the most value is being created. That is your first step that you have to learn. And you need to be a little bit of a reality engineer to do good investing. The next level would be to actually become a reality engineer and think about how can I start shaping the future because there's much more money in that, of course. And now AI enables you to do it. But education needs to educate people to do that. And then, of course, very neglected, I think education also has to go into our personal lives. Health, dating, community, the things that actually matter the most. No one learns about any of these things. Everyone should make this a top priority in their education. We need to learn the basics of how do we not die health? How do we stay healthy and happy and high energy? We have to learn about the basics of men and women and families. I mean, no one is even daring to talk about it. That should be taught in school, all the basics. And we have to create all the content for that because it's so, I mean, nothing is out there that's useful. And then communities, how do we build nice little cities and villages and communities where we have a nice life? We have to understand that we are now in charge in the age of AGI. And being in charge means we can shape everything, reality. And if we shape reality, we have to understand what is rea what, what part of reality do we actually care about? And we should care first and foremost about our own lives. How do we not die? How do we build a great family? How do we great, build a great community and the cities around it? That's the core of everything. And then the meta problems, how do we invest and spot the future to, in to increase capital? How do we build and engineer any future we want that goes into technology and all kinds of things? And how do we build actually good self-governed states? That's, that's important. So I just want to hopefully initiate a little paradigm shift here by understanding that we are, it's, it's already happening, guys. Like it's not fantasy. This is happening. We need to realign everything we do. We need to understand we will perish if we keep doing what we do because no one needs that. But we also have an enormous opportunity to build the future. And so it's time to think what is the future? What future? What do we want? And align education and our culture around it and get the job done. The people who do that, they will win so big, I can't even put it into words. And I call these people the pioneers, their meet in pioneerlands.net. Okay, I hope that was interesting.